In the grim darkness of the future, there is only war, as short people under the banner of Facebook wage war against the elements of the murky swamps, where the only true light of all is the great leader of Duloc, and later on mankind. This light is Lord Farquaad. Now, you may have seen the title of this and gone, hmm, interesting and neglected facts and logic. As we all know who the Emperor Man of Mankind truly is, just look at the absolute unit Farquaad is. Now, I'd like you to take... To, I'd like to take you on a trip of truth to show you why Farquaad is truly the God Emperor of Mankind. <clears throat> Firstly, to start off, look at the two. Don't they look the same with their hairstyle and their jawline? Surely it can't be a coincidence. And then look at their personalities, both guarded by soldiers of like really cool great armor and highly against the threat of Xenos. I mean, don't you remember, don't you remember Shrek 1 when Farquaad rallied and imprisoned or deported fairy tale creatures from Dulog because they were a threat to his society? while the Emperor of Mankind waged an entire war against numerous Xeno races. I mean, face the facts, both of them are against the threat of green peoples, or like green skins. Like, don't you remember when Farquaad had to, f had to defeat Shrek and he failed to do so? I mean, as we all know, both of them have faced have had to face the threat of the orcs, or greenskins, whatever you want to call them. And Shrek was secretly one of the greatest war bosses ever known to come from Gork and Mork. As seen in Shrek the Halloween special as well, Farquaad's, de Farquaad's death resulted in all of Duloc erupting into anarchy and chaos, with the entire civilization being gone. And I believe we all know if the God Emperor of Mankind was to die, the Imperium would collapse in on itself. Now, on to Sh back onto Shrek 1. So, you remember the dragon that ate Farquaad, right? Well, clearly it's a spawn of chaos that came from Zinch. As we all know, Zinch likes to scheme and ruin plans. See, one thing that makes evident is the fact that the dragon ate Farquaad. But how are we to know that Farquaad didn't make it on later, later on? Because, because think about it. It took a while for the Emperor to realize his true powers as his, of, of Psyker abilities. So, here's what I have to say. Farquaad was clearly able to make it out once he realized his Psyker abilities from the Shamans. Thus, he made his way out of the dragon and became much much more powerful. Later on in the Galactic Crusade, Farquaad, or the Emperor of Man at this point, would have encountered Shrek and the Chaos Worshipper Donkey. Because think about it, if Donkey f likes to... If Donkey likes the dragon, I believe you know that it's a Chaos Worshipper then. After... After being defeated by Shrek millennia, many millennia prior, Farquaad would would have seek, would have seeked vengeance against him, thus engaging Shrek in a duel. Whilst Shrek was the biggest orc boss to exist, and the only orc close to the godliness that is the Emperor of Man, it would have been a tough fight. But Donkey was slain by the Primarch Horus before the heresy, alongside the Chaos Dragon. This would then throw Shrek into a blind rage as Farquaad took the advantage to slay Shrek once and for all. While he had slain Shrek, he had not slain the idea of Shrek. Later on, orcs would believe Shrek is love and Shrek is life, revering Shrek as the third orc god along Side Gork and Morg. 
Thanks for checking out today's video. I will be honest, I've been wanting to do this for so long. Like, I, like, you have no idea how much I've been wanting to do this. Especially since I have no idea how to edit before. So, I might do some more satire videos. Anyways, consider subscribing, liking, uh, share, I guess, I don't care. And, uh, see you later.